Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Yes, we are back with the first gaming video in over a month. Yes, we are back. Uh, I bet you weren't expecting this uh, video tonight. Nope, nope, nope. I was always going to do this a little surprise video, this GeoGuessr return video. Uh, yeah, so if you haven't heard, on Tuesday evening, the um, Alan Wake 2 series begins. And I can tell you I've recorded that um uh, the first uh, four episodes of that series so far, and I can tell you, it is such a good game. Such, such a good game. A lot going on, and yeah, I actually cannot wait to play it. I might actually release a trailer for this tomorrow, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, so that is coming up on Tuesday at 8pm, uh, I believe. 8pm? Yeah, 8pm on Tuesday. And on Monday, we've got the launch of the 2001 Personal Charts, so that's another thing coming up uh, this week as well. Uh, this upcoming week but we are back with a geoguessr um one-off special i think it's going to be a one-off special for now anyway it's not going to be like multiple videos over the next few weeks or whatever it's just like one episode this month i guess uh yeah i don't know why i'm waffling i should just be playing the game but yeah i bet you weren't expecting this video tonight um, yeah, so we are going to be doing three games of uh, geoguessr here we're going to be doing the uk so we're going to do a two two minute time limit uh we're gonna do the world so anywhere in the world and we're gonna do scotland so those are the three maps we're gonna do by the way if you don't know what geoguessr is it's basically a game where you get spawned in somewhere in google maps randomly anywhere in google maps and you have to guess where you are by having two minutes to look around pretty much so we're just gonna start with the uk here oh hello maybe this bus will be able to tell us where we are um but that's useful it's compulsory to wear face coverings on board. Get with the times, bro. That was four years ago. <laughs> um, is there anything that we can get? Because this boss might be helpful. So it is the UK, so looking on what side of the road to drive on is not going to be useful because we always drive on the left. Although, if we are in the world, on the world map, we'd be able to tell that we're in somewhere that drives on the left. Which would likely be the UK. Uh, what we've got here. So we've got... Suter Johnny's Cottage. Ooh, National Trust for Scotland. Okay, that kind of helps. We've narrowed it down to Scotland. Culzean Castle and Country Park. Where is that? Somewhere in Scotland. Culzean. Sounds north, doesn't it? I've never heard of Colzane Country Park. The Richmond, Home Cook. And I've been everywhere in Scotland, <laughs> pretty much. What's that? Has to your back. What? Is that Gaelic? Home of Suter Johnny. Oh, South Ayrshire. Okay, so it's down here. Uh, 30 seconds left. Make sure I actually pinpoint something. Uh... Caution lorries turning, that's not useful. What's this? The Westgate experience. Where's the country park? I uh, don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know. Air's down here. How long I've got? 10 seconds. <gasps> no! It's down here. Something country park down here. I'll just go here. That's loud. <laughs> it was actually down here in Kirk Oswald, as we know, but we didn't know where where exactly it was, so, yeah. <laughs> Next one. Oh, this looks a little bit... Oh, Premier. Elliot's Premier. Elliot's. Canton Chef. 01375. That looks like a Scottish number. I swear to God, Scotland has that. Like, very similar number. Phone number layout. Could we be in Scotland for the second time? It's going to be really interesting when we get into the world, like what sort of ones we get there. Handel Crescent. I just need to find out where we are. Like what town. That, that didn't tell me where we were. Why is there a horse on the side of the road? What the heck? What the heck is that about? Why is there a horse on the side of the road? That's a bit dangerous. Chadwell St. Mary. That sounds English. No idea where. A13. 
Oh, I've no idea where the A13 is. I'm not going to sit and look for it. Be here all day trying to look for it. And I've not got all day. <laughs> Greys, Tilbury Docks, M25. That's London, is it not? Yeah, so it's around here somewhere. Ah, uh, what about... I've got Greys. Epping. That's Elliot's we saw. Brentwood. Oh, that's over here. Let's go here. Not bad. Not bad. Only 11 miles away. Not bad. Not bad. We're down here in Tilbury. I only knew where Brentwood was because it's where they used to host a bunch of TV shows. Um... SSE. Taxes? Doesn't tell me where we are. It's not useful. Why has SSE got such a massive car park? I swear Tesco doesn't even have that big a car park. <laughs> Name a better combo. Imagine we ended up in Dundee on one of these. That'd be so funny. Sterling. Okay. So I know I'm in Scotland. That's so ironic. That is so weird. Imagine I ended up on Dundee on one of them. And <laughs> saw Dundee on a sign. That's so strange. Um, Don't tell me we're in Dundee. That that would be absolutely ridiculous. Inveralmond, I know where this is. We're in Perth. I've been here so many times. I know exactly where this is. So it must be this roundabout here. This one. Has it got Costa Coffee on it? <laughs> What's that? Jolbies. Aldi's? Does it have Aldi's? I think I know where this is. Mercedes Benz Perf. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. <gasps> so funny. Now I need to find SSE. There it is. How close can we get on this one? So let's try and get the exact pixel. So that road coming in there is that one there. Yeah, that one. And we are just there. Oh my god, five yards away. Look at that. Oh my god, that is amazing. Look at how close we were compared to the whole of the UK. Basically, I knew where it was though, so yeah. Oh, this is the second last one in the UK. Where are we now? This doesn't look like Perth. <laughs> Perth's a lot more glamorous than this. I never thought I'd say that about Perth. Uh, crackling King Hog Roast. Ooh. Oh, another Costa Coffee. Fantastic. Compare.com. Well, that's not helping me. Where the hell are we? It looks like we're in like some sort of shanty town in the, in the Wild West. What the hell is this? I'm not getting Scottish vibes from this. Oh, hello. Oh, come on. These buses are useless. 01642. Anybody, any ideas? By the way, if you want to guess, just post a timestamp in the comments. So, like, 902. That's the timestamp right now. And then put your guess and don't cheat because what's the point in that this is a waste of time if you cheat doesn't doesn't really do anything oh come on i've got nothing from this one I'm just doing a wild stab in the dark oh what was that west lothian street but it's not lothian as in edinburgh it's like low and then th the end Oh, come on, I need something, please. Ten seconds. What's that sign? Please, please, please. Uh, Seating Karu Hartlepool. That's England, then. I almost didn't get that in time. I almost didn't get that in time. It was actually up here in Middlesbrough. Okay, last one for the UK. Storm Ness. That sounds like Scotland up north. 
There's Darnes. Not Stormness, though. It seems like the sort of area it would be in. Orper, never heard of it. Where are we now? A little. That narrows it down to nowhere. Oh, airport, Deerness, the Balfour. Who has a hospital named the Balfour? Inverness, maybe. Mm, don't think so. This doesn't look like Inverness. Tesco. I need to find out where we are, because it's going to be very important. Like, just getting out of the town and finding a welcome to Inverness sign would be fantastic. Orkney? Oh, okay. Is it actually in the Orkney Isles? Oh my god. If it is, that's going to be so funny because... Oh, there's Stormness! Don't know where we are, though. I'm just going to guess Stormness. It's actually over here in Kirkwall, but oh my god, you know if you didn't see that Orkney Caravan sign, we probably would have went somewhere around here and we probably would have got no points, so that is actually good. Well done, you've received a new medal for United Kingdom. Woo! 17,000 points. That's actually really good for for um, that for a, with a time limit as well. Wow. All right, we're going to move on to the world now. So we could be spawned anywhere in the world. So this is going to be very interesting. My world geography is significantly worse than my UK geography. So things that I'm going to have to look out for is like side of the road that they drive on or if they, drive, if they have kilometers or miles per hour, for example. So yeah, let's give it a go. Hmm. Okay. So, first things first is maybe find out, like, the county. Uh, the county? The continent. Wow. Why does this rem remind me so much of Reykjavik? Like, when I was in Reykjavik, this... Oh, no, it's not Reykjavik. City of Westminster. Okay. Well, that's narrowed it down to London from the whole world. NW6, Northwest 6. So maybe up here? Up here, sorry? No, west's up here, right, yeah. Maybe it's in, like, Watford area. Which is the place I went to to watch the Harry Potter tour. Watford. Traffic enforcement laws. Okay, great. Ooh, what does that bus stop say? Pentland Road towards Kensal Rise. Kensal. There's Kensington. So I think it's going to be up here somewhere. As long as I pinpoint something down, it should be okay. And it'll take that. John Lewis. Hmm. South Kilburn? Wait, 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 wait. No way. It's not Kilburn, is it? It's not literally the place that I stayed in when I was in London. Kilburn. <laughs> Where is it again? Over here. There it is. I was going to guess Kilburn. <laughs> no, I kid you not. I kid you not. Like, we literally stayed. Wait, is this where I guess? Or is that... Oh, no, that's where we are there. Like, I can tell you that I lived right there when I stayed in London. <laughs> not far from it at all. Oh, okay, I can guarantee this is not London. No, and I'm not even kidding. I can literally get people to confirm that that's where I stayed in London. Because <laughs> I sent them the address and they came with me. Oh my god, where the hell are we? El Puto what? That must be swearing in uh, some language. It looks... South American? It's crazy how different 
like different areas of the world are. Like look at this, like compare this to like London for example. It's crazy. But it's also kind of kind of cool. It just makes me want to travel the world more. Because even going somewhere like Belgium last year, that's significantly different to the UK. And you may not even think it. Even somewhere like France or Spain. Way different. Not as different as this, but you know. Uh, I don't know where this is. Where is this? It's going to be like Brazil or something. Wait, what side of the road do they drive on? The right. Okay, that doesn't help that much. It's like in most countries. The left is like the one that usually helps. Because like you can think, oh, is it Australia or the UK or India or Japan? And like they're very different countries. So just by looking at the scenery, you can tell like where you are. Fiambres, that sounds Spanish or Portuguese. Don't know which one. Uh, I'm going to go Brazil. Like, central Brazil. Yeah. Not bad, considering. It was down here in Argentina. It definitely, yeah, it definitely felt like South America. Oh my god, what the heck? We're driving on the right. It's not helpful. At least it's not Australia. It's got to be America. Just... There's nothing here. So I'm thinking like Nebraska, Montana. Jeez, this is amazing. I would love to drive this. I wouldn't want your car to break down on this road though. <laughs> How are you going to get signal? Uh, what? Wait, this is not America. This is going to be Mexico. I think this is Mexico. It's in Spanish. I don't think we're going to get anything from this except this road. I'm just going to go with somewhere that's mountainous in Mexico, maybe here. Okay, it was Mexico, but it was the other side of Mexico, I think, yeah. Baja, California, down here. Near Los Aguiljotos or something. <laughs> Can't speak Spanish. Oh, okay. We're on a bike lane or something. What the actual? Wait, what? This feels like Moscow. Does that bus tell us where we are? If the bus was there, it'd be great. Okay, maybe not. Pedestrians use crossing. <laughs> Do you think anybody uses a crossing? Like, come on. <laughs> Woodlands Town. So it's definitely in English. I've never seen that before. Like... It's so weird. Like, I've never seen a country that looks like this that speaks English. As their main language, anyway. Woodlands Drive. Woodlands. It's all Woodlands, isn't it? SMRT. SMRT. I'm not sure. I'm struggling with this one. I mean, it's all English. Where's someone that speaks English? Singapore? No way. No way, it's Singapore. No, I'm not going with Singapore. That would be in Chinese. I think. I th is Singapore Chinese? No, it's its own country, isn't it? Oh my god. Um, um, um. Don't know, don't know. Let's go here. Why did... Oh my god, it actually was Singapore. Oh, damn it. Malaysia speaks English. Are you serious? It's their main language. Did not know that. Oh my god. Where on earth is this? 
This is crazy. Wow, this feels like European. Definitely. Somewhere like Belgium or the Netherlands, potentially. It's a little bit poor for the Netherlands, though. I'm thinking maybe somewhere like Poland. Because I believe Netherlands and Belgium are quite rich countries. Oh, ramen and golf restaurants, does that say? Oh, Yemen. Yemen? Yeah, but that's just the shop, isn't it? It's not going to be the actual place. I mean, you get them in the UK. Broadway market. Broadway? I'm struggling here. I, d I don't know anywhere that looks like this. It's very distinctive. Wow. That's pretty cool. I must say, I love this city. Whatever it is. Denver? It's gotta be America. Looks like America to me. Denver? Is it, is it Texas? It can't be Texas. Where the hell is Denver? Is Denver, Texas? I don't think it is, is it? Um, pay to park, great. Right. Okay, let's just go here. Ah, it was over here in Baltimore. It was actually near Washington, D.C. Wow. Jeez. Oh, no, I think Washington, D.C. is on the coast, isn't it? Somewhere. Does it really matter? Probably not. Whatever. I'm now a tourist. 10,200 points. That's actually pretty good for the world, I'd say. Well, it's not great, but... So yeah, we actually did it okay there. I wouldn't say we did amazing. Like, uh, we didn't get, like, really close to one of them. I mean, London, actually. London, we got really close to the place that I used to... Where I actually <laughs> went to stay for a few days in London. But yeah, we are going to conclude now. We're going to climax with Scotland. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, play Scotland. So anywhere in Scotland, two-minute time limit. Let's go. Oh, it looks wet. What a shock. I mean, Scotland's all about the rain, isn't it? Uh, Route 74, sorry, are we in are we in Scotland or are we in America? Like, Route 74. Ooh, it's sunny again, or cloudy. It's the best you're getting here. What the? What the actual? What the heck? This truck's not going to help, we're in Scotland. Bro, what's going on with this thing? What the? Oh, come on. Okay, go back to the start. I'm going back to the start. I can't sing. <laughs> I have no idea. All I've got is Route 74 truck stops. So I've got A71? Where is that? Not a clue. I think that's probably south. That's A72. A70. There's the A71 there. Don't know where the truck stops are. Eight miles to services. Great. So if we got to the services, we might be able to find out where we are, but we're not going to have time for that. Oh, Kilmarnock in Edinburgh. That's not really helpful because we know we're here, but there's Kilmarnock there. Uh, maybe here. Let's go here. Somewhere around here, whatever. Wasn't great. 3,400. Actually, that's pretty good. I'm aiming to get 15,000 on this one, so as long as we get 3,000 on each of them, that'd be okay. So we've done pretty well on that one. Oh, dear. See, somewhere like this, unless you absolutely know it, you're going to struggle. Now, do I recognise this bit? Because there's a good chance that, like, on one of these, there's going to be somewhere that I might actually have been. Okay, well, that that's definitely possible. 
So Dundee is 11 miles away. Cooper Angus is 2 miles away. Blair Gowrie is 6 miles away. So it's going to be up here. So Blair Gowrie is 6 miles away. Cooper Angus is 2. So it's going to be down here because Blair Gowrie is further than Cooper Angus. So it's going to be here somewhere. Potentially it's somewhere like Pitcar. Looks possible. Maybe that's one of these roads. I don't know which one. Calis and Kinrossi. I think we're here. I definitely think we're here. Yeah. There's Calais and that's Ken Rossi there. Yeah, we've got to be here somewhere. Um, let's go back to the start. So we were further down this road, down a massive straight road. It's probably this one. Because there's no kind. Oh, we could be here, actually. Oh, I knew we were on the other side. Damn it. Alright. Anyway, we've got 4,900, so that's pretty good. Oh, God. Stop giving me these country roads, please. Oh, no, we've got no chance on this one. How on earth? Just the middle of absolutely nowhere. I mean, it's a nice place. I'll give it that. I don't really recognise it. Oh, tiny little village here. Gonna give us any clues at all. That's so tiny. What the actual... Why do I recognise this bit? I feel like I do. I feel like I've cycled here. I don't know why. I feel like I've cycled on this path. If it's where I'm thinking it is, it's near Newbra and Fife. Jedbra, okay, it's definitely not that then. <laughs> Jedbra, I think that's in Edinburgh, near Edinburgh, right? Down here, potentially. Don't know though. I need something with a little bit more certainty than Jedbra. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I haven't even... I've heard of it, but I don't know what it is. Uh, any idea of where we are now? Please? What the actual... Defibrillator? Defibrillator, or what we call it? <laughs> Defibrillator. Oh, my God. Um, um, um... Okay, just go here. Not a bad guess, actually, down here in Jedburgh, yeah. Oh, stop it! Why are you giving me these hard ones? That's what she said. <laughs> Sorry. I couldn't resist. Oh, T-junction, woo. That's helpful. Oh my god, we're in a farm. Literally in the middle of nowhere. No idea where I am. Oh, this road's not useful either. Bunch of hay bales. Cairn Andrew. Chapman Farms. Cairn Andrew. Sounds like the Cairn Gorms. <sighs> no idea. I was up here in near Banff. <laughs> oh my god, no. Not another one. Are you actually taking the, the biscuit here? I should just swear, to be honest, shouldn't I? I've tried to keep my channel swear free, but I don't really care anymore. <laughs> um... So that's Dan Keith. Sorry, no tents, tourers from motorhomes. Dan Keith Mo Caravan Park. I've heard of Dal Keith, I know where that is. That's in Edinburgh, but. Where are we now? 
It's just all these country roads. It's just terrible. I don't get anything on these country roads. Intense mouse click. I can see houses in the distance, they're so just getting further away. <laughs> Dundonald. If that's a Dundonald, I know. Is it? Wait, is it actually? No, it's not. It's not a Dundonald I was thinking of. Dundonald Castle, Tar Bolton. Not a clue. Here. Down here, near Kalmarnock. We didn't do very well on that one, 12,900. Uh, I am going to play again one last time. Uh, but we're going to do um, 30 seconds on it. So we're just really quick. This is going to be fun. Um, I'm not done it on like this quick before. Okay, let's go. 30 seconds. Oh, good luck with this one. Another country road. This is Scotland again, by the way. Um, any vibes from this? It's basically like first, it's basically like no at first sight, right? Skid risk. So you basically have to look at the area and think, where is this? No idea, just go central Scotland. <laughs> it's down here. Miles away from anything. Oh, a bit more uh, residential. However, this is not useful because it's the same everywhere. Post office. Doesn't help. Oh. Is it? No, it's not. Um. Don't know. Just go here. Actually, <laughs> we went in the North Sea, but it was actually down here in uh, Howick, but we're not far off. Well, we were, but still. I'm going to sneeze. Sorry. That wasted like five seconds. Oot. Get oot. No idea. Um, Central again. It was up here in Rainy. Um, this 30 seconds wasn't a good idea. <laughs> this is an absolute terrible idea. <laughs> oh well. Oh, maybe not. Menave and Penpoint. Never heard of it. It was down here in Thornhill. Great. Okay, this was the worst thing I've ever done. This 30 second geoguessor. <laughs> ah, they can't get out. So all we've got to go on is a farm and some fields and a few cows. Maybe some sheep if we're lucky. Oh, here. Down here in eye mouth. That was terrible. <laughs> anyway, that's going to do it for this one-off special of GeoGuessr. I hope you enjoyed that. It was fun getting back into GeoGuessr. It's been a little while since I've done it. So, yeah, I'm glad we, we got back into it. Uh, we did really good on the, the uh, UK one as well. So, we did really good on that one. That was probably our strongest one. Uh, Scotland and the world one is quite as good. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. We will be back on tomorrow with the 2001 Personal Chart Birthday Special, uh, which will reveal my birthday number one on that video. And we'll be back on Tuesday with the next gaming video, which is the start of an epic series of Alan Wake 2. Very creepy and mysterious, that game, but it's quite fun as well. Quite funny as well, at the same time. Uh, so yeah, so that's exactly what I kind of wanted from a series. It's my type of game, really. So yeah, more information uh, in the trailer, which should be up um, either tomorrow or Monday. Uh, so yeah. If you enjoyed the video, please like the button. If you want to keep it there, all the videos on my channel, please subscribe and see you in the next episode. See you later.